My name is Izzy Swan and I was raised in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, or for those in the know, the UP. And this is the dirt road I grew up on. This is the house I grew up in. And this is my old backyard. Now if you want to live up here, you gotta be strong and resourceful. The land is tough. But if you want to go camping in a minivan, you got to have a built-in cabinet. Just makes it more comfortable. And today, I'm going to build one. Now, I came back home for a little R&R. Stopped in to see my mother, and when she said she wanted to build a cabinet for her van so she could take it around camping, I decided I was going to help her out. Now, not bringing a lot of tools with me, I had to make do with what we had. Thankfully, there was a Menards down the road and we were able to get some pre-finished plywood for this project because I didn't feel like chopping down any pine trees and making my own plywood. Now, I didn't have a table saw with me, so I took a battery-operated circular saw and stuck it through a piece of plywood, and that's what I used for a table saw and worked out alright. Now, I designed the cabinet up on a piece of paper, cut out the parts that I needed, and marked out where I was going to put some screw holes. Now I like to keep my screws aligned, especially when it's going to be in places that you can see, so I use this fancy measuring device to keep my screw holes even. Now because I didn't want to ruin the plywood, I used my favorite flush mount countersink for making snappy tools. I like this because it doesn't let the countersink go deep and doesn't mar up the plywood when it hits. With all the holes drilled, set my plywood up to drill everything together. I used my straddle square to hold it in place while I did so. With that done, I needed to make some braces that go across the top of that box I just built. And eventually, I'll screw a countertop down to those braces. Now, that little trick right there, folks, I would not recommend you do that. I was in a tight spot and didn't have much of a choice. Now, when you're putting braces on against plywood and you want to get your plywood nice and flush, a little trick is to put your screw head just or your screw point just a little bit through the plywood then pinch it together. That keeps everything aligned as you finish screwing the screw all the way in. Once again, folks, don't do this. I didn't have a choice in this situation. So with both my braces in place and screwed in, I was able to take this box I just built over to the base I made earlier and screw it down. Now you'll see another box sitting there on the right side. I figured one box build in this video was enough. The other box is for a bench that folds out into a bed and we'll talk about that here in a minute. So I got my little cabinet screwed down to the base I made for this whole system and I needed to go over and cut the countertop and the bench seat. So once again I used my little makeshift table saw to do so. So after I ripped down my big pieces I wanted to mark out where my countertop was going to be and originally I wanted it to be around but changed my mind and just made it easier to do with the tools I had. So after I got my countertop cut out, I put it where it belonged, screwed it down off camera, and then went to working on the seat and the fold-out section for the bed. Now, I had to use some piano hinges in this situation, and whenever I'm doing that, I like to use glue or double-sided tape to stick them down in place before I put all the screws in place. This kind of just holds everything in and makes it easy to keep them aligned. Now when you're putting these down, you want to make sure you get them as aligned as possible. Take your time. And you'll see that I ran a knife down the middle and that just breaks the tape. So when it comes time to actually use these hinges for what they were intended for, it's a little bit easier. Now again, I'm using a center bit from Making Snappy Tools and I pre-drill each one of the locations and it just makes it a lot easier to keep those screws centered. It doesn't, keep the, doesn't pull the piano hinge out of where it's supposed to be. I sure wish I could speed things up in real life when I'm putting screws in for piano hinges. It seems to always take a while. But using tape and proper tools makes it go a lot faster. So this is the bench top, and that little wing over there folds up and turns it into a bed, and I'll show you how here in a minute. Now I know y'all thought you were done watching me put piano hinges in, but I had to put them in, so you get to watch me put them in there. So off camera I made these little corbels that will fold away, so when you're not using it as a bed, you just fold it in and you have a bench, and when you need a bed, you just fold that up and you've got a bed top. 
Mom was real happy with her little camper cabinet, and I was happy to build it for her, even though it took a lot longer with only having a few tools available. I'm happy that she'll be comfortable while she's out traveling around and camping in the back of her van. And I'd like to thank you folks for watching and my mama for raising me in such a beautiful place. I'd also like to thank the sponsors of this video for making this possible. But don't forget to subscribe. We've always got something fun happening around here. You don't want to miss out on that. Thanks again, folks. Y'all have a good day.